says zero degrees Celsius. Hello, welcome to the vlog. We're frozen. Oh. It's currently oh, all... Yeah, we're going to the supermarket. I've not got any makeup on, but I got I got dressed. I put Jack. Um, you do it, need to no, do you it. Don't. I need to do it to make it. You let it to frost. Yeah, Look, and then it's you do that to wipe it away. There's not been a gritter. There's not been a gritter over Christmas. Uh, we're just saying that it is really icy. We're going to the supermarket and I decided that I wanted to get dressed properly because if I don't get dressed for the supermarket, I wouldn't be getting dressed at all. Today is Monday. It's technically Boxing Day on my calendar. So, I mean, I've got meetings scheduled in, but I'm guessing that they're not happening because it's a bank holiday. We're going to Waitrose because Last week we had probably the best supermarket party food I've ever had in my life and we wanted to go back and stock up for, for New Year because we're in lockdown, Scotland's in lockdown at the moment. We'll be at home for New Year so we're just going to make the most of it really. I am really excited about this week because I'm feeling the urge to organise as I often do. Like I want to go through my clothes, that's one thing I was thinking about. I, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately and some of my favourite people have of like capsule wardrobes which is basically like 30 items in your wardrobe that you can mix and match I mean I'm not I'm not shy to wear the same clothes over and over again I don't buy a huge amount of clothes you know when I was younger I remember I used to buy stuff on ASOS all the time if I was ever doing anything I would look on ASOS and I would get something and I, I don't really do that anymore if there's a thing that I really want then I'll get it. And I've been doing that for the last like year and a half and it's really made a difference to my consumption. I don't I don't buy as much as many clothes, but what I do buy is quality and it will last me and I really love it. For example, this jacket is from HM and I love it so much. It wasn't crazy expensive, I think it was maybe about a hundred pounds, which is which isn't cheap, but it's gonna last me, you know. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna I want to go through my wardrobe, I want to go through my makeup, I want to get stuff for a giveaway ready, because there's obviously I've got so much stuff that I've not even touched that I could put together. And yeah, I just feel like organising. You don't even need to organise, Derek, because you have hardly any things. I organise on the go. You do organise on the go. I organise 24-7. My life is perfectly organised all the time. The only thing I would say that you're needing to do maybe... Oh, look, sheep hair done. Cool. The only thing I would say is that you hold on to old clothes that probably need thrown away. I'm a whole duck with clothes. Is that what you're trying to say me? No, I just think that you've got some things that you don't need anymore. You've got clothes that need thrown out, but you wouldn't replace them. Just in case I ever want to wear it. See, this is what I mean. So that's our, the start of the week. We're feeling fresh. I think it's honestly the weather's meant to be cold but bright all week. That's my favourite. I feel quite, um, I don't know, inspired by, inspired to do stuff when the weather's like this because it's bright enough. Um, and yeah, starting the week off with that food shop. We were just saying that the first time that we came here it was March. Just because we were in lockdown, we wanted like to treat ourselves to some nice bits. It was the first time that we like waited in a queue, socially distanced. It's just crazy. It's crazy how long it's been and how kind of used to it everyone is. Like masks. It's it, you knew it was weird when people started making like fashionable face coverings. That's when you knew things were getting really strange because it's like normal. It's like part of your wardrobe. People are matching their masks to their outfit, which is really easy for me because I just wear black. Um, and let me tell you, when you come to Waitrose, it's no normal experience. There is a tent outside to wait in, socially distanced, so you're not affected by the weather conditions. Look, I wanted to show you this jacket. I just took some photos there. I'm actually going to go and look at my phone right now to see if I can find a link. And if I don't find this exact jacket, I'll link something that's similar because I think this might be my favourite jacket, like one of them of all time. It's warm. There's a lot of material to it, which I think makes it look really expensive. Like honestly, this could be anything. Even like the details and the sleeves and stuff. It's just H&M. I'm pretty obsessed with it. And this is a medium, so it's quite big. I just took some photos there. I have so much fun doing that, you know, and I, let me, let me sit down and talk to you. Me and Jack were talking about things that we're passionate about, like things that we really enjoy. And I asked Jack what his were, and he said boxing, the dogs, traveling, and he is obsessed with a really good view. See if somewhere, if you can walk somewhere and it's a great view that you get, or you're up, like he, he's just obsessed with that. And I was like, cool. And I was like, I wonder what I am. And Jack was like, well, interior, interior design is something that I love so much. 
Not done much of it lately, but I'm sure that there's loads to come. I really enjoy making a house a home. I love traveling. I also really actually do love fashion and clothes and jewelry and accessories and stuff like that. I think I've got a bit of an even keel over all of it. Something that I've realized, I don't think I like shoes. Turns out I really do like shoes. I just don't like high heels. Uh, I think that when you're young and you start getting into nice things, I've always I've always had a bit of a fancy for luxury in all its areas. Um, but when you're young, I think that you always kind of get told, or you always think, oh, if I'm going to invest in a pair of shoes, it'll be a pair of high heels. Everyone exp spends a lot of money on high heels. Wrong, my friends. Um, I have... Hello? I've got a couple of things that I've got from over the years that I still have because they're luxury investments and their shoes like brogues sandals trainers nah i wouldn't i wouldn't spend a fortune fortune on trainers again i don't think because i wear them to they get done in i'd rather buy like reeboks but see like nice shoes like boots oh my god invest in a good pair of boots oh, you've got a bit of a hot head today drogba look at this nice boy oh, look at this nice boy mm. i was just wondering and obviously makeup and beauty is like my passion in life i just think it's so cool that we've all got our things that we really enjoy something that i don't that i don't get obsessed about is exercising it's not for me uh i am going to try though remember i did yoga for like two minutes i went on one run one run in my life did i vlog it yes some people still ask me about that. They're like, how's your running going? I was like, oh my God, no, I did it that one time. Uh, what else am I not obsessed with? Cooking, but I would like to get better. Talking about cooking, we actually got ingredients to make gnocchi, 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 gnocchi. I don't want to say it like a dick, gnocchi, gnocchi. Um, so me and Jack are going to cook that together tonight, which I thought was fun. We were talking, we thought that cooking together might be a fun way for us both to get into it and also to spend some nice time together. Are you just looking at me? Are you okay? Are you just listening to me talk? Yeah, and I just think it's so cool that we've all got our things that we like. I just think it's dead, it's dead cute. Some people are amazing at um, like creative stuff, like arts and crafts, uh, organising. I think I would like to think that I'm good at organising, but I'm actually not. Don't know why. I think if I have the space, I'm one of these people, I need a whole day to do something. I'm not good at, I thought I was good at multitasking as well. It turns out I'm not. Uh, if I'm doing something, I need all my attention on that project. I get stressed out, like there's nothing, wor worst nightmare for me, worst nightmare is being up to my eyeballs on a project and feeling really good about it. And then getting an email or a text about something entirely different that I have to do right then and there that throws my whole day off. Worst nightmare. I think we all just have our ways of working, don't we? Anyway, why was I talking about this? Oh yeah, because I was just taking my nice pictures. And I think, I think that um, along with my beauty stuff, which is my bread and butter, it's my life, my pride and joy, I think it would be really fun if, for me to share some of the other things that I'm really interested in and that I love. So I love, I got really excited about um, some YouTube videos about all the things that I just mentioned that I really like because we all we all have loads of different sides to us. We're all very multifaceted human beings, aren't we? Something else <laughs> something else that I actually was thinking today, which I really like, is at once upon a time on Instagram, I would never really post a picture or a story. Well stories, yeah. I would never really post a picture of me, uh, you know, in an like an outfit picture or whatever with no makeup on. Um and I never really thought about that until now. Uh, and how much I don't care anymore. It's cool. I say don't care. I actually don't like the term I don't care. Uh, my dad doesn't like it either. And I used to get in trouble, see, when I was young and I was in, like, I got that, you know, that horrible teenage phase. I used to say to my dad, I don't care. And he was like, you do care. You do care. You just don't want it or you don't mind. Because I do care a lot. I'm just so much more comfortable in myself in its entirety that I don't even think about it. I don't even think about it. I so enjoy makeup and I love the way I feel when I've got it on. But I also like me without it too and i hope you guys are the same because it's a very powerful thing i've had too much coffee today i'm all spiritual <laughs> look at this <laughs> bank holiday it is bank holiday and that's why i'm lying on my bum we're doing it in style and by style i mean a puzzle me and jack did a puzzle last night when i got gifted from keels it was a wee christmas present and it was so fun and it was really easy. So we thought we would get another puzzle and we got one at Waitrose, it was a tenner and it's sweets. It's like old sweets and I've got 
There's a thing in the bottom of this that says, help, my puzzle is missing a piece. Do not lose any pieces. I'm not, I'm not. And do not do your trick where you hide a piece. <laughs> I used to do that. So when I was when I was wee and we would be doing a puzzle, I would I would sneaky take a piece and put it in my pocket so I was the one that could finish the puzzle. <laughs> That's so silly. Ready, steady, cook. Oh, who's the egg? <gasps> no! <laughs> well, that's not finished. I thought it would be. Right, okay, progress report. Do you know what? It doesn't look like we've done much, but we've done. We've actually done quite well. I've just done this whole opal fruits. This is making me want to eat. a good corner done over here. It's making me want to eat junk food. I know. I want, I know, like, I've, not, I've never wanted an arrow more in my life. <laughs> so this is the um, the finished article. So the old Brandon packets of sweets. And we've got a good corner piece done over this there. Is, this is going quite well. Do you know what it is? It's, see when it's just the one little tabs, a colour. I know. It's too hard. We've got a full uh, top edge done. That's crazy actually, on this, yeah. And we've got a wee see bit if you looked, It's probably more like that. Yeah. So we're doing quite good. I but I just know. really want to get gonna, that bit. We're going to take a break for dinner and then resume. <laughs> Don't do what. Right, I'm saying it right now. Nobody give me shit for cutting this with a bread knife. Don't I don't know. have proper knives it yet. Doesn't, it doesn't matter, you're a strong independent woman cutting a eggplant. It's no, not eggplant. what's it called? Butternut squash. Cutting a butternut squash. Cutting a butternut squash with a bread knife. I don't want to talk about it. I can't believe it. This is amazing. Mm. How good is this? And we made it ourselves, how exciting. Mine looks pretty rank, but trust me, it's delicious. Oh my goodness. Love the day, love the day, love the day, love that day. Look how beautiful it is. You see that? It's fresh snow. The dogs love it. We just took them on a huge, big walk outside. And it was so fun, wasn't it, guys? Look at this wagon tail. <laughs> oh, happy big boy. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. The dogs love it. They love the snow. So we just went for a big walk. How gorge. The last time we had weather like this was in like March when we went to Kershaw. I can't believe that was this year. It was this year that we went skiing. But yeah, this weather just so reminds me of it because it's sunny. Look, I'm in my t-shirt. It's not that cold. Well, actually not, it is quite cold. But it's like, it's, ugh, it's just my favourite weather. So yeah, we went for a really lovely walk in the sunshine and the snow. And it was quite early, I think, when we went out. What time is it now? Yeah, it's 10 to 11. So it's pretty good going. Uh, I have bought a ticket tonight to a show. No, I'm joking. <laughs> in lockdown. Um, I bought a ticket because... I feel like I, talk, I actually talk about her every, every single week, but I'm obsessed with her. Tamara Dryson, who uh, I did the tarot reading with. She's written two books that are brilliant, Luna and The Crystal Code. And it's the last full moon of the year, and she's just hosting a lovely like, meditation. And it really is so nice. And if you're not into it, it's totally fine, I get it. It's quite, it's quite airy-fairy, quite spiritual. And some people just, it's not for them, and that's, that's great, that's... That's why, you know, the world is fun because people like different things. But what I do is I uh, get my, I actually really like my makeup room. Um, I think the vibes are good, but you turn it, turn it in your little space into a little bit of a sanctuary, a zen den, and you burn some incense, you've got your can, your candles and your crystals and stuff. And she basically does, a, like it's like a guided meditation, so you're just lying down. It's just so good for men your mental practices and, and putting yourself in a really good mindset for the new year. So I don't know why I'm telling you so much about this because you won't be able to join because it's already done. I just highly recommend going and following her. She's so brilliant and she kind of explains um, you know why you might be feeling certain things at certain times of the month. I'm really interested in it and going by my comments whenever I mention this kind of stuff you guys usually ask me for more information or some people do so I thought I would just share but that's what I'm doing tonight at seven. So I've not worn makeup in a while. Um, I don't know what to do today. I feel torn. I'm feeling very like productive. I feel like I want to throw myself into something and I, I think I might do my makeup room today. Do you know that? I might actually 
clean my makeup room and get it so because how nice would that be i need to do it for the new year anyway i want to start fresh um i've got stuff to put away i kind of want to do that clear out that i mentioned i know it's really cliche but i do like to start the new year clear mind nothing to do really like when it comes to the house and stuff i'm just ready to throw myself back into my work so i kind of want to film it for another video I kind of want that to be my video this week. I mean, no one's going out in New Year, are they? So what's the point in doing a New Year makeover? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Oh, God, how exciting. Okay. Hello. It's been three days since, uh, since I spoke to you because I have been filming something else for three days. I completely gutted my makeup room and I just finished a mere few hours ago. It is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. We're signing off. Well, I've got one email to say, but um, I can do that and drink wine at the same time, right? New Year's Eve. Uh, look at this. Oh, so, so good. I'll pop a link. Uh, to that video below, but I'm just so delighted. I feel like I'm starting afresh. Me and Jack have loads of snacks. We've got wine, we've got cheese, we've got crackers, we've got butter, we've got party food, Waitrose party food, I swear. I feel like I can talk about it now because we should be stocked up. And we're just gonna enjoy our wee night, just us. This is what we've got lined up. A bottle of Cologne, the State Malbec wine. Nice. And some... <laughs> Okay, it's all right. It was oh, it's so good. Some half eaten, a half eaten box of Forever Rocher. Lovely. So, usually on New Year, I quite like getting dressed up. I like doing my New Year's Eve, sorry. I like getting my makeup on and dressed up. But this year, as an ode to 2020, I'm not going to bother my. I'm going to stay like this. Saying that, I do have a wee bit of makeup on. Yeah, I just feel like relaxing with Jack. I wish we had another puzzle, actually. I would go daft over a puzzle right now. But. I'm delighted. Oh, you know what I just remembered? What? Cobra Kai comes out tomorrow. I don't like that. You will. We're going to go and enjoy. No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, no, you're not. This is the worst. Stop, <laughs> Stop trying to eat dinner and fucking crack it on, man. It's weird. It's nearly six o'clock. I know, but it's not dinner time. We're going to be up for a while, especially if you want to stay up for the bells. I don't. I'm trying to go to bed. Do you? <laughs> Do you know what's it's doing for the bells? No. <laughs> you... I want to eat and drink red wine for a super nine. Really? Right. Okay, I'm up for it. Last year, 2020, well done, everyone. 2021's gonna be just the best. I'll see you then. Happy New Year, 2021. Finally, how exciting. Uh, I think my alarm's gonna go off. Yeah, three minutes, we've got three, three minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> Happy New Year. <gasps> Happy New Year. I'm just making us our New Year's Day dinner. I say I'm making it. I am the luckiest girl in the world. My mum, who's a great cook, prepped our food for us and dropped it off. Um, so we've got a delicious meal because usually we'd spend it together. We had a really fun night last night, just me and Jack. We stayed up for the bells. We shared some nice wine. We listened to music. We were chatting. It was just great. It was just so much fun. And then we had a great sleep, woke up, had breakfast, got ready, and then took the dog's big walk, which was lovely this morning, wasn't it? And yeah, it's just a really nice chill day. The weather is stunning. Look at this. It's blue skies, snow on the ground. It's just absolutely perfect. It is so beautiful. We've created some ambiance. We have our dinner setting ready, and it's just gonna be such a nice, such a nice day. I feel very pleased with myself because technically I'm wearing a suit, but it's a silk suit, so it's kind of like pajamas. So I'm really, I feel quite chic and comfortable at the same time. Um, I'm really excited for this year. I have, I have a really, I've, I really think it's going to be so much better for all of us. And I just hope that it brings you everything, everything that you want and more. If we get to the end of the year and we've been able to hug each other, that's a victory in my eyes. And yeah, we're just going to eat. I got a couple of bottles of wine for my Christmas. So we're having a wee glass of wine. Yum. I'm actually going to do dry January. I'm not going to drink in January apart from today. Is that cheating? Is that a very Scottish thing to do? <laughs> I don't know. But I've decided uh, um, one of my goals this year is to look after myself and my health. And, you know, over the festive period, we've enjoyed our wine and it's been great. But I would like a, a month off. And I'm going to try getting into some kind of fitness thing. I don't know. I'm not making any promises. Uh, so it'll be good. It'll be really good. So we're in having one last hurrah. She I need to put my sprouts in. Yeah, feeling really positive. Woke up. Sun was blaring in our windows and it was just such a nice start to the year. And it's going to be great. Putting it out there.
in Scotland, I, I think more than just Scotland, but in Scotland for sure, it is a yearly tradition on New Year. You have steak pie for your for your lunch. And you always have dinner early. It's like Christmas. You always have dinner at like, well, it's half three just now. Our dinner's going to be ready at four. Me and Jack usually quite late, I think. Oh, I'm just so excited. We've got prawn cocktail to start, which is honestly, I think, one of my favourite dishes of all time. Then we've got steak pie with all the trimmings. And then we've got, what is it again? Meringues and berries and cream. So I'll show you our dinner. That's one thing that I'm really hoping that we get more of this year is um, going out for dinner. I miss it. I can't believe it. I just went to turn the potatoes and I've covered myself in butter and that is not going to come out so I need to get changed immediately. Something equally as sneaky. A silk jumpsuit is still like wearing pyjamas. Look at that. Looks like an absolute dog's dinner but I can guarantee it is delicious, Jack. It's fucking outstanding. Is it so good? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> mm -mm. What a mess. Look at the absolute state of this. I have been, sorry, that's the coffee machine going. I have been scraping candle wax off this thing for ages, look. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also making a coffee. Jack got me this mug for my Christmas in my stocking. Honey bunny. <laughs> This sandwich is so sloppy and it should be gross, but it's amazing. This is how you do it. Toasted bread, applewood, smoked cheese, i.e. the best cheese in the world. Four cherry tomatoes sliced into thirds. I like doing it in a wee row. Honey roast ham. Boom, boom, boom. I like three slices. Okay. You're ready to be sick. Mayonnaise. Oh my God, that is so bad for me. <laughs> mm. So if someone was to ask me what my favorite genre of food is, I think I would say Italian. I love pasta and pizza and I love the food in Italy, but I do quite like a sandwich. A sandwich, a baked potato, a toasty, a panini, like cafe food. We've, we're running out of food in this house. We're running out of food. We ate it all <laughs> over New Year. So this is, look at that. It looks mental, this is delicious. Smoked ham, smoked cheese, butter, mayonnaise, and tomatoes on toasted bread. This is my thrilling Sunday. I just feel like today I want to get the house back to normal. I think I might dismantle the Christmas tree so, but it takes a really long time to do that. It takes ages to get the tree down. And I just want to get this looking back to nice. I don't care if it's not perfect because it's just gonna get wax on it again. But do you, know, <laughs> do you know what I've done that's really annoyed me? I used, Haha, ha, that was satisfying. I used white candles and I also used green. So, I mean, <laughs> if uh, someone came into our house, they would definitely think that we were football fans with this color scheme. We have like a toolbox in our house and I found this, I don't, I, I could not tell you what this is. It says something about wearing goggles. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what this is, but I am using it to scrape wax off this thing. So I'm going to be here for a while and then I've scratched it. I mean, I got this from Silver Birch, so it is nice. It's not super, it wasn't super, super expensive or anything. So I don't really mind if it gets a bit scraped up. I mean, I know that one of you guys is going to be like, Jamie, you just do this and then it all comes off. But here I am. Whoa, look at that. I woke up this morning, it's Saturday and I, I didn't really know what to do with myself today. I think that I need to get the house in order and taking down the tree is actually a good idea oh, come on man okay we have the tree box we have all the bags where the ornaments go and we have the tree 
and it's time, it's time for it to go, time for it to go. I was going to vlog the whole thing, but um, my camera's going to die. So, uh, let's just do a snap of the fingers. One, two, three. Ta-da! <laughs> I wish it was that quick, that took me hours. Absolute madness. I can't tell you. This, right, it's a fake tree. It's still really jaggy. Like, I've hurt my arms. And it also fell on top of me at one point. Jack, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Stop, See, you're still, look. That's it, it's better. I can drive window, it. Window, window. It, it says fill washer fluid because you've been I using it all. Jack. What is it, Juno? You know? You just like going outside and eating biscuit. Ready to focus your mind and throw yourself into f f the best things for yourself. That doesn't make sense. Eating your food and you like Christmas and you like present. <laughs> My dad got a stupid laser pointer and Drogba goes nuts over it. He's too old for this. He's... Oh no. Candle wax off. Oh god, I just broke my nail. <gasps> oh no. May I speak? May I speak? May I speak? Just speak. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh my god, salt bay, is that you? This is what happens when my hair dries naturally. I get this Prince Charming style.